And breaking news coming in, latest in the Wrestlers vs. Federation saga. Seen in News 18 has spoken exclusively to 1983 World Cup winning captain Kapil Dev. He says, and I quote, let's not make a political situation out of this. Law of the land should prevail and it should be respected. As sportspersons, we don't want to spoil our country's name. We love our sportspersons and our country. That's the piece of breaking news that's coming in. I'm joined by my colleague Shivani Gupta on the broadcast. Shivani, so Kapil Dev essentially taking a middle path over here. On one side, he's asking the government to resolve the grievances of these protesting wrestlers. But on the other side, he's also telling the wrestlers not to take hasty decisions like throwing away their medals. Yes, that's right. I think all sportspersons, athletes are obviously trying to say this to the wrestlers that while we understand your pain and while we are with you as far as this fight is concerned, you mustn't take any steps that either, you know, hurt you in the long run, hurt the uh, image of the sport or the country in the long run. As you very rightly pointed out, uh, Kapil Dev, I spoke to him just a short while ago and his message is to both sides. While obviously the letter that the World Cup winning team has released has stood with the wrestlers, it has obviously talked about the fact that the wrestlers were not treated well when they were trying to do a march in Delhi, which prompted them to want to immerse their medals. He's also, he has a word of caution for both sides. He's saying one, very clearly, that there should be no political angle that should be driven out of this entire scenario or this case, that it should not be turned into a political situation, that there is a law of the land, that law of the land should be respected, and it should eventually prevail whoever is on the right side. He's also saying, and this is a very important word of caution that is coming in from the World Cup winning captain, that as athletes, we love our country and we shouldn't do anything that can spoil the image of our country. And I think this is a message to the wrestlers indeed. He's also going on to say that we do love our sportspersons, but as sportspersons, we also love our country. So most fundamentally, when I spoke to him, he kept reiterating that my most important message is that there should be no politics over this and the law of the land should prevail. So in that sense, there is a message to all sides that let's not be hasty and let's ensure that whatever we do, it does not bring disrepute as far as the country's image itself is concerned. Right. Ayushman. Right. But at the same time, Shivani, more and more people are throwing their weight behind the protesting wrestlers. Is the main point of contention in this entire saga that even though cases have been registered against Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh, he continues to remain in the post of WFI president, even though he's not handling the main day to day operations of the Federation? So, you know, interestingly, uh, Bridge Bhushan's term has already come to an end. There were supposed to be elections that were supposed to be held in May. He has completed three terms. He was not going to be able to fight another election as the president of the WFI. But before that as well, in the end of April and earlier in January, when the oversight committee was formed by the sports ministry under the AGs of the IOA, he was already asked to step aside. So what the ministry and the IOA continue to repeat is that, see, the moment this entire controversy broke, and allegations of sexual charges, uh, uh, sexual harassment charges were made, even though at that time there was no FIR, it was filed later. We did ask him to step aside. We conducted a free and fair investigation by the oversight committee, which included athletes. So have faith in that process. And now that an FIR has been registered, an ad hoc committee was asked to take over the day-to-day uh, -day runnings of the uh, federation. So Bridge Bhushan, why he may be the outgoing president, he's no longer running the affairs of the body, which is what the wrestlers also wanted, that there cannot be any free and fair investigation if he continues to be the head. So an ad hoc committee of the IOA was formed, and that has been running the affairs since almost the start of May. So in that sense, he was asked to step aside, which is, I think, a message that the sports minister also reiterated a couple of days ago. Right. Ayushman. Right. Thank you, Shivani, for getting us the latest when it comes to the saga in this escalating uh, fight between the wrestlers and uh, Bridge Bhushan Sharan Singh. We're going to take a